Hey guys, welcome to Strong with Raj. No nonsense strength training. As much as I have been a coach, trainer, where I have told and instilled into my clients and friends and colleagues that whenever you have issues with your form or pain, the best policy is to go light. You could also say this in a different way which is very commonly and very aptly called ego lifting. And it'll make a lot of sense each time you practice it. But there is something about ego. Not just about lifting, but almost everything. And man suffers it. And man, oh man, I'm suffering it when it comes to presses. And there's a big reason why. One reason is that I've done 100 kg press many, many times. And it is so hard for me to accept that I can't do it. Watch carefully what happens to my left arm as compared to my right arm. It extends and that's my 90 kg fail right there. So I, I really have to start practicing what I have been preaching. I have been very good in most cases, like for example, my squat. And my deadlift, I have gone lighter on both of them and working my way up. I must say, in fact, I'm quite happy with my uh, progress that I'm making with my squats. But uh, for some reason, I have not been able to let go of the ego, I suppose, when it comes to presses. I think I said it in the last video of my press that I'll start doing light. I am doing light, but something happens and I just go for a 90 kg press. And uh, I have lost count how many times I've failed it. But anyway, I did go light and you have, you're have you watching these uh, sets are 60 kgs mostly. I think I did three sets of five or five sets of five. But yes, how easy it is to say something to someone and how hard it is exactly to follow it when it comes for you to follow it. It is quite a thing. And all what I have learned is that when I saw they say those things, I am such, uh, well, I have such double standards, to be very honest. Uh, at least I am honest and I'm happy that I have maintained some integrity. So I moved on to deadlift, no shoes. Uh, the sacroiliac joint is still, was still quite active. I, this probably would, might, this might be my last session of deadlift. I decided that I'm going to go to some other movement which is supplemental to deadlift, which means it is similar to deadlift. And I reckon it will be Romanian deadlifts. Uh, it was hurting a lot when I was getting into the start position. Again, I have highlighted that a number of times that when I'm doing my deadlift, the left side is so wonky and slow, and that shows how much of uh, left side of my sacroiliac joint is, is not participating. So it's probably best for me to start the bar from the, the top, uh, as in Romanian deadlift and lower it slowly again go light Romanian deadlift is a movement where you cannot go as heavy as normal deadlift so my ego will not come into play but uh, so far so good this is the one such session where things were not going good but I've had so many of these that I'm quite experienced for uh, not having the kind of session I would want it to be I think sometimes if you are just a normal gym goer, it is such a freedom. Just go and do whatever sets of 10 or 12 and get on the machines and jump on this and just do and go home. Uh, but I just have to set myself a number, not necessarily a goal, but work towards an optimal level of performance. Uh, but it comes uh, with drawbacks. Anyway, this is 200 kg. Uh, Look at how slow my left is and my face tells the whole story of how much of pain I am in. The pain in SI joint and hence the inhibition that happens is quite something. It's in my mind that the pain will come and that really affects the whole execution. It's just not nice. That doesn't happen with press. In press, my arm is very lazy as if it's not even there at times. But with the pain, it is such a, it has such a strong impact uh, on your nervous system that it actually controls 
the movement of your body and affects the performance anyway this was a short little quick video of my press just to update you how it's going and i think i'm gonna go back to sets of five to six to seven and keep it light deadly for fine and uh, i hope uh, you're enjoying my little videos and i will catch you next time thank you